Hey, Crack fans. In honor of Rafael Nadal's record-tying 20th major victory, we had our writer Luke Moorhead break down all 20 of those titles, rank them from worst to best using factors such as Rafa's performance, the opponent he was playing, the scale of the moment, and so much more. So now things get a little bit interesting. These weren't the toughest battles, but here are major victories 11 through 15 for Rafa. Let the fun begin. 2007 French Open, Nadal defends Roger Federer 6-3-4-6, 6-3-6-4. Number 15. After this match, one thing became very clear. Nadal probably wasn't going to lose at Roland Garros for quite a bit of time. For the first six games of this final, Federer played about as well as he could possibly play. He attacked off both ground stroke wings and retrieved everything Rafa threw at him. Unfortunately for Federer, this match established a theme that would play out throughout their rivalry in the years to come. His inability to convert break points against Rafa would come back to bite him. Federer had multiple opportunities to break back in this match, but ultimately finished 1 for 17 on break points in the contest. This was a great match from Rafa, who weathered everything Roger threw at him, but in the end, this match had more to do with Fed than Rafa's performance. Overall match rating, 65 out of 100. Roger played about as well as he could have expected against Rafa on this occasion, yet still couldn't capture that elusive Roland Garros title. Still, credit to Nadal, who dug in when it mattered most, finished 4 of 9 on break points in this match, and ultimately captured his third straight French Open title. 2014 French Open Final, Nadal defends Djokovic 3-6-7-5-6-2-6-4. Number 14. In the press conference after the match, even Rafa admitted he didn't play that great until about midway through the second in this one. He came out hesitant, and Djokovic, looking to make history at the time, took advantage of it. However, once Rafa found his form in the second set, this match was all but over. Rafa finished with 43 winners, made 73% of his first serves, and converted 60% of his breakpoint chances. Overall, this match gets a 68 out of 100. Nadal was 22-19 and 19 against Djokovic heading into this one, but had lost four straight against Novak before this final. Despite playing a poor first set, Nadal stayed strong mentally and was able to find his game when it mattered most. 17 French Open final, Nadal defends Wawrinka 6-2, 6-3, Number 13. This match, like many of Rafa's at Roland Garros over the years, was seemingly a foregone conclusion. Simply put, Nadal steamrolled his way through the 2017 French Open draw. In the final, Nadal hit 26 winners against only 13 unforced errors, converted 6 of his 13 breakpoint chances, and ended with 94 total points to stands 57 in the match. Overall, this one gets a 70 out of 100. As well as Rafa played in the final, it is worth noting that Stan played a 5-set battle against Andy Murray in the semis. Though it would have been an uphill for Stan regardless, one has to factor that into this match. Still, for Rafa, a fantastic way to ring in his 10th Roland Garros title. The 2010 French Open, Nadal defends Robin Soderling 6-4, 6-2, Number 12. Although he'll never admit it, one would think Rafa must have had revenge on his mind heading into this final. After suffering his first ever loss at Roland Garros to Soderling in 2009, Nadal had the opportunity to take back his title and to do it against the man who had beaten him. Though Rafa hit only 21 winners in this match, his lowest count of the tournament, he countered with just 16 unforced errors and made 77% of his first serves in this match. Was it a vintage performance from Rafa? Probably not. But this title put him back on track after dealing with knee tendonitis in the latter part of 2009 and set him up for the career Grand Slam, which he would complete at the U.S. Open later during the 2010 season. Overall, this one gets a 71 out of 100. 
Though Soderling defeated Rafa at Roland Garros the previous year and ended Roger Federer's streak of 23 consecutive major semifinals in the quarters, it was extremely unlikely that Nadal was going to let Soderling beat him again. No doubt Soderling earned his spot in this final, but overall it took a solid, not a spectacular match, for Rafa to earn this victory. Thus, this title comes in at number 12. The 2012 Roland Garros final, Nadal defends Novak Djokovic 6-4-6-3-2-6-7-5. Number 11. The 2012 final might be the most flustered Rafa has ever been in a Roland Garros final. After winning the first two sets of this match rather handedly, it seemed Djokovic managed to flip the script on Rafa in the third. All of a sudden, Rafa found himself down 2-0 in the fourth and faced a legitimate chance of losing his first French Open final. Of course, as only vintage Rafa can, he managed to claw his way out of that deficit, turn the set around, and secure his seventh Roland Garros title. The counting stats from Rafa in this match don't do him justice. He committed three more unforced errors than winners and won only nine more total points than Djokovic in the match despite winning three sets to one. And yet, this match receives a 75 out of 100. This was a prime Novak Djokovic, and one of Novak's best chances to beat a healthy Nadal at Roland Garros. The fact that Rafa was able to jump off to such a great start, and subsequently weather the storm, both literally and metaphorically, of the third set, makes this match that much more impressive. Add to it the fact that Djokovic had beaten Nadal in their previous three Grand Slam final encounters heading into this match, and Rafa's win looks that much more impressive. Thus, this title comes in at number 11. Thank you for hearing our thoughts on Rafa's top victories in a major final. Of course, to see the rest of this series, just go subscribe to our Cracked Rackets YouTube channel. Make sure you don't miss any of the action. Of course, to read Luke's extended thoughts on Rafa's performances, go check out our website, CrackedRackets.com, or you can just find the article directly in the link to this video. Of course, if you have missed any of our Cracked Rackets content, be sure to go to our website, CrackedRackets.com. But with that in mind, we hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you all next time.